that. Oh, oh. he's a flag. Best drive of the day. Yo, 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 oh, welcome to Scotty P. Golf, the home of no regrets, nah, same. This is another nine hole series here at my home course at Ranch Bissett Golf Club. Uh, this is a prelude to my previous video of the front nine, which I do play pretty well, uh, but I play even better on this one. So, let's get into it. This first hole is a reachable par four, about 300 yards. Drive wasn't too bad, a little low on the face, but uh, went straight and left me with like a little 20 yard chip. I was trying to keep this one a little low and have a check up, but I uh, didn't check up too much, so ended up having about 10 feet for the birdie. Well, this one's going pretty straight, but it ended up drifting right. So I ended up settling for the par. So starting out with the par is uh, pretty good. Yeah, I'll take that in day. So here's a par three, about 160 yards, and I fat it. Drifting a little bit to the right, lands on the left side of the bunker and trickles in. So now I'm in the sand, and I gotta say I've seen a lot of camel toes in my life. Never seen one on the golf course. I don't know how the hell you tow this in a bunker, but I did. So. Got about a 20 foot, 3 foot breaker, and just came up a little bit short, like Danny DeVito, and I tap it in. So there's a bogey there. On to the third hole. This is a par 4, 440 yards. We're kind of into the wind right now. So I just kind of want to keep this one kind of low and in the middle, but didn't keep it low. However, it was a nice little draw right in the middle of the fairway. I believe I have about 120 yards to the flag. Got a club up here. Due to being in the wind. Beautiful strike. Nice little divot right at the flag. Just came up a tad bit short. So I got about 15 feet for the birdie. I saw this one moving left. Nope. Didn't break at all. This one's straight. Exactly my line. Add another par to the scorecard. So through three holes, I'm plus one. We're on to the first par five, which is about 530 yards. Still into the wind. And this one I pull left, but it made it back a little bit. Had a pretty good lie, so I took out the free wood. I'm gonna get this one pretty close. Pure strike, and that ball flight went straight. Damn straight. Like a Democrat flying to Epstein's Island. It's crazy shit. So I've got about a 60 yard chip pitch. Pretty good strike. However, it just kicks straight left. Oh, what the hell kind of bounce Apparently that? landed on a damn sprinkler head. So I've got an uphill putt over a ridge. So I thought it was going to be breaking right. However, it just went straight. Uh, two feet past the pin, so I end up selling for the par, which I'll take it. Still plus one through four. So here's another par four, about 420 yards, and like any tree hugger, you gotta find the trees every now and again. However, my ball went through the trees, had a pretty open shot to the green, but Started this one right and stayed right. Got about a 15 yard chip shot. Just want to nestle this one up close and get away with the par. However, a little too hard and release, so I got about 10 foot for the par save. And wouldn't you know it? Center the cup. So I'm still plus one. Trying to keep scorecard low. All right, onto the sixth hole, which is technically the 15th. This is another par four, about 395 yards. There is a valley on this hole, so I like to start mine right and let it draw 
to the left or sometimes a kick on this hill but it ended up staying on the hills so my ball is buried you can barely see it it's a good strike right at the flag look at that oh, oh. the flag so close to being an eagle I got about a 10 foot birdie putt cha-ching getting those birdies like Streisand on crack so with that birdie I'm back to even this is the second par 3 about 174 yards this was a pretty good strike Had a nice little draw to it however it did not check it released onto the fringe so now I got about like a shit, 6 foot breaker from left to right downhill that was just a great putt, great speed, lucky little tap in for the par. And you know it's a tap when you're putting left handed with the uh, side of the club. So, on to the 17th hole, which is the 8th hole of the series. Another par 4 into the wind, 445 yards. This was center of the phase. That's I ended up slicing it. However, I was fortunate it landed on this dirt hill above the car path, rolled back down onto the path. So I did take some free relief. Have about uh, 190 yards to the flag. And this one, I uh, didn't start left enough. Ended up fading right. So I got about a 30 yard chip, which came up pretty damn short. Nothing about 15 feet for the par save. And it did not break until after the hole. So I ended up getting bogey here. Back to plus one. Which through eight holes, plus one. Hell, that's pretty damn good. So on to the final hole. This is a par five, about 515 yards. Little helping wind. Just a great strike. Right down the middle. Damn. Yeah. Best drive of the day. Yes, wow. it was. Okay, about 322 yards. Left me about 180 in. Right Using a 7 iron. Clipping down a little bit because I do have a helping wind. Be nice if I can get an albatross. But this one was a good strike. Just uh, faded a little bit to the right. And I got about a 60 foot uphill eagle putt, which I knew this was going to be breaking to my left, but it went pretty straight until it started getting to that slope. So it did come up short. So now I got about a 6 foot slightly breaking left birdie putt, and I need this to get even par. And wouldn't you know it? I sunk it, baby. Birdie! You birdie? Yep. All right, a shot 36, even par on the back nine. Through the full 18, uh, it was a 77, which is awesome. Anytime you can get below 80, uh, you definitely got to appreciate that because it doesn't happen every time. I mean, I'm not a scratch golfer, so definitely got to enjoy this one. I will continue to try to bring you guys entertaining, pretty good golf. Um, so if you did enjoy this one, smash that like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Peace.